Hey class, um, let's look at problem 3.32 from Prowl. Um, it's actually a, a really nice problem. So it says that uh, there's an object that slides frictionlessly down a plane inclined by an angle theta, and that the acceleration equals, as you will expect, g sine theta, so the vertical component. Um, there's a, a person on a bike that is going to coast down this ramp, starting from rest. Initial velocity, the initial speed is uh, zero meters per second. And that is going to trace a V. So it looks kind of like that. The horizontal distance is going to be fixed, it's going to be 2 W. So I'm going to put it over here. And we want to know the depth uh, of this V. Um, I'm going to set it to uh, achieve the, the minimum time for the person on the bicycle to go from the top down to the bottom, and over here. So find the angle theta that minimizes this time. So I am going to bin this diagram. So I'm going to put it over there. Can you still see that? You can see that. All right, so this problem is actually one dimensional. Uh, it might seem like it is in two dimensions, but you can imagine that you are uh, the person on the bicycle. You are going to feel an acceleration, and if you don't know if you're going downwards or upwards, you just feel the acceleration towards the direction in which you are moving. And when you're in this part over here, uh, you feel like you're slowing down. So it's an acceleration in the direction opposite to your motion. So this problem, um, like many others that we have seen, consists of two segments. So you have segment one over here, when the bicycle is going down, and segment two over here, when the bicycle is going up. So let's plot the um, acceleration. As a function of time. In the first segment, uh, you are moving in the direction, the acceleration is in the direction of motion, so it is positive. And when you start going up, then the acceleration is in the opposite direction, so it's negative. This is Section one and section two. Uh, we actually have the magnitude of this uh, acceleration. G sine theta up here. This one has to be the same, but negative. So negative G sine theta.
So now let's plot their velocity as a function of time. Uh, we know that it starts from zero, so it has to start from over here. And the acceleration is positive in the first segment. That means that the slope is um, positive upwards. Um, and it's constant. So the velocity is going to be a line. So it increases like that in the first segment. In the second segment, the slope is negative and constant. So the velocity plot looks like this. Now, can you still see this? This is the position as a function of time. In the first segment, it's like, it looks like a parabola, because this is a straight line, and the parabola is curved up. So it looks like that. And over here, it is slowing down. So it still has the shape of a parabola, but it's upside down. So this actually looks like an S. So this is, again, same thing from here. Section 1 and Section 2.